I have so many reasons that I like to sew. One of them is that I know that I have the ability to recreate a ready-to-wear or designer-inspired look. As much as I love high-end looks, my pocketbook does not like it. That's why I like it when I find a sewing pattern I can use to recreate one of those looks. In today's video, I am sharing 10 sewing patterns with you that you can also use to recreate designer or high-end garment looks. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sharon Sews. This is where we talk all about sewing and fashion. Recreating a ready-to-wear look or designer look using a sewing pattern is nothing new. In fact, recently I just stumbled across a video from Nancy Zeman. It was from 1992 and it was called Designer Dupes. In that video, she said that uh, some of her sewing staff and herself, they visited some high-end trendy boutiques, actually purchased, I think it was five different garments, and in the video, they shared how to recreate the look of the garment they had purchased. Well, I'm not going to show you how to recreate the looks that I'm sharing with you today, but I do have 10 ready-to-wear or designer looks that I am sharing, and I've paired them with a pattern from the Big Four. I've chosen McCall's and Nomi patterns today. The ready-to-wear garments range in price from $150 to more than $1,000, and I'm pretty sure you can sew it for less. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that in the description box below this video, I do have a link to my Pinterest board, one of my Pinterest boards, where I have everything shown linked to the original online shop, where you can go purchase it if you want to. Let's start with one of my favorites, these patchwork denim pants. On the website, these are described as conversation starters, and I think they are indeed conversation starters. I think if you wore these, you would have a lot of compliments and or people asking, where did you get them? They're just really unique, and you can sew the look using McCall's 8408. It's almost an exact dupe. I love it when that happens. The description of the McCall's pattern Patchwork shorts and pants with a contour waistband. There's a fly front zipper, back darts, top stitch hem and pockets, and of course, the um, contrast panels. The fabric recommendations are chino, cotton blend, denim, and twill. And I would suggest if you choose denim, make sure you choose a lightweight denim. I don't think these pants would be very flattering if you had a heavy denim and that um, wide leg kind of stood out. I'm seriously considering purchasing this pattern and sewing a pair of these jeans to add to my fall wardrobe. How about you? Use Nomi pattern 2045 to sew the look of this rainbow multi-tiered dress. The one that I found online is sewn out of a jersey knit. The pattern is a lightweight tool and nylon and it is fully lined. So you'd line it with a polyester or cotton. I'd probably go cotton just for comfort. And it is described as a color blocked tool maxi dress with underlay. It has gathered ruffles that gradually get longer, adjustable straps and back tie closure. Now the pattern is designed, as I said, for tool and nylon. I think you could probably use a jersey knit as the sample that I found, but make sure it's a very lightweight knit. Otherwise, I think it would weigh it down and you wouldn't get that flow and light and airy feeling of the original design. This next dress, I found a couple different versions online. All of them were described as a caftan. I looked at it and thought of it as a dress, but it's a caftan. It's got a V-neck and all of them had that drawstring or ruched front design detail. Now you can sew the look using McCall's 8413. 8413 is described as a caftan in two lengths. It has a ruched front with drawstring that ties at the bottom. It has a V neckline. There are dolman sleeves and a narrow hem. Fabric recommendations for this are Shelly, Crepe, Georgette, and Stable Knits. The versions that I found online, the green floral is a Georgette. It is 100% polyester. And the yellow is a crepe. It's a polyester spandex crepe. Here we have a corset cami, and this one is 12% spandex and 88% nylon. So there's a lot of stretch to this one. You can sew the look using McCall's 8407. 8407 is described as a faux corset style bodysuit and top with cap sleeves, double bodice, V neckline, and bias tape finish at the underarm. This top does require a four-way stretch knit, and it needs 75% stretch. Here we have a beautiful floral maxi dress. It doesn't say what type of fabric it is. It is 100% polyester. So maybe it's a Georgette, maybe it's just a silky type. Now you can sew the look using Nomi pattern 2038. 
The Inspo dress is a little bit different than the Nomi pattern. And let me just read the description for the Nomi pattern. It's a sleeveless multi-tiered dress. It has a high neckline. It is lined and there is a back zipper. That first ruffle is attached at the neck and the underlayer attached at the underarms and neckline. So it does not have that waistline seam like the Inspo dress and it is not a halter dress like the Inspo dress, but it's still, you can sew the look. A denim maxi skirt. I do love denim maxi skirts and they're such a big trend this summer. In fact, I have an entire video with maxi skirt inspiration and pattern suggestions for you. If you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description box below. Let's get back to this one. This ready to wear denim skirt that I found, the fiber content is cotton, polyester, viscose, and elastane, which basically means spandex or lycra. It's just, I think it's just a generic term for that. You can sew this look using McCall's 8389. It is a denim skirt with the yoke with optional pockets. It's high-waisted A-line skirt with exposed zipper, drop waist, and gathers. And fabric recommendations are cotton blends, denim, linen, and twill. And I do discuss this in the denim skirt video, but make sure when you're looking at your denims that you know the weights of your denims. And for something like this with all those gathers, I would definitely choose a lighter weight denim. Here we have a gorgeous designer maxi dress. This dress has a pleated top, is fully lined, and it has a center bust cutout. You can sew the look using Nomi 2024. It's a maxi length bias cut dress with an optional tiered skirt. It has ties through a ruched bodice with cutout detail and adjustable straps and an invisible side seam zipper. Now this pattern has a similar bodice to that designer version. Obviously it's not pleated, but it's got that double cut out. Now I think that I would find a way to try and sew or stabilize that center front there right underneath the bodice because you see how it's kind of gapping out just a little bit on um, the skirt but I would try and find a way to eliminate that. I find that a little bit distracting. And instead of the two tiers, make it one long tier to get a little bit closer to the designer version. And of course, if you want to be like the designer version with a little bit of a gathered waistline, you can always add a little bit of width to the bodice and to the waist and gather it up. Fabric recommendations for this one are cotton blends, crepe de chine, silk, and silky types. A button front midi skirt and crop top. The button front midi skirt it has an asymmetrical front button detail and it is a stretch crepe and the crop top, this version is out of cotton. You can sew the look using Nomi pattern 2013. This pattern is designed for knits, both the top and the skirt. The top has a square neckline, wide straps and you know, it's gotta be a pull on because it's a knit. The skirt has an elastic waist and that asymmetrical button detail. Fabric recommendations are Ponte, Double Knit, and Scuba. I think this skirt is really adorable with that asymmetrical button front detail. This is a designer pair of sailor pants. They are stretch wool with silk pocket lining. Sew the look using Nomi pattern 2043. The description for this pattern is high-waisted wide leg pants, button front detail, front slash pockets, and back pockets with flaps. Fabric recommendations, cotton blends, jacquards, lightweight wool blends, linen blends, and twill. I think this is a really cute pant pattern. This next look is another favorite of mine. It's a women's jumpsuit or hostess pajamas. It's from 1940. Isn't it fabulous? It's a rayon crepe and it was designed by Addie Masters and she passed away in 1983. You can sew the look using Nomi pattern 2027. It's a jumpsuit with wide legs, large collar, front buttons, loose fit sleeves, fabric covered belt, side pockets, and contrasting fabric detail. And fabric recommendations are cotton blends, crepe, crepe de chine, rayon, silky types, and viscose. I don't even like jumpsuits and I would like to sew this one. I actually think I might buy the pattern and just sew it as a shirt. I love that detail on the bodice, the square detail. And those are 10 patterns that you can use to sew the look for designer and ready to wear garments. I really enjoy researching these type of videos. Let me know if you enjoy them also and would like to see more. Leave it for me in the comments below. Until I see you in the next video, I do hope you have a blessed day. Happy sewing.